Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 16th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. We are going to get one card for an overall energy, and then we're going to use that deck right there. We're going to see what comes up. This may or may not be for you. Disrupt the tower on the 16th, okay? It's a 16. Tomorrow is the 16th. This is the tower. You know, we all had a tower moment today. <laughs> I probably shouldn't talk about it, but it really was a huge disruption with the, the cathedral, right? The, the I'm telling you what. <laughs> talk about a tower moment. So, um... Anyhow, 16th, we got a tower moment. We got, we got some upheaval coming in. This is a change, okay? A major change. This is a universe card. The universe comes in to break down weak structures, things that are weak. That tower that, that, that was weak, okay? Unfortunately. Anyhow get myself all worked up here um <laughs> so anyway we have we have something that is going to come crashing down because it's time to rebuild it's time to start over it's pretty ironic that the very first card of the day is a 16th is a 16 for the 16th. 1 plus 6 equals 7. 7 is a number for heaven. from heaven. This is divinely guided universal change. Which is calling on you to have faith that there is a purpose why this or that or whatever it was or is going is being removed from your life. There's a purpose. This is a challenge. This challenge is happening because it's time for your one-on-one -on -one personal development. It's time for you to rebuild a new structure. A new stability. So anyway, that is the tower, the card of the day. You may feel like this is a disaster. It's been a disaster. And that is a card of disaster. It may make you feel uncomfortable. Major universal disruption. This is God, right? Seven is a number from heaven or your higher power stepping in to say, you know what? Whatever you're holding on to so tightly is a false sense of security. It's not stable, it's not secure, it's gotta go. I gotta make it crumble because it's time for you to rebuild again. Strength, and you're gonna need the, you're gonna need strength, right? You're gonna need strength, you're gonna need courage, and you're gonna need willpower to master your emotions at this time. This may bring about some fear, and you need to find strength to deal with that fear. Five of Cups, this is grieving. Loss. Five of Cups is grieving a loss. Sadness. Sadness over letting go of something that you were used to. The Empress. Oh, the Empress. This is the birth of a new life. This is rebirth. But to get that new life, I mean, the Empress has to go through pain to get that new life. So yeah, there's going to be some pain involved, unfortunately. Unfortunately. 
somebody's been stuck. Somebody has been really, really stuck trying to prove themselves, trying to prove what they can do, trying to prove a point. Resisting change. Not wanting to accept change. Sacrificing themselves, limiting themselves. I don't know why. Because they didn't want to face the struggle. But all the time, this time that they've been scared, fearful of what's ahead, they've gained a new perspective, a new outlook. We have somebody here that I think has gained a new outlook through grief of some sort. Or they're gonna. They're gonna. They may not see it yet because this is gonna happen. Alright? I don't think this has happened yet. I don't. I think it's going to happen. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now this is, this is intuitive. This is very intuitive. This is this person, you know, they're following their intuition, following their heart. We have somebody here that is following their heart. Oh, there's a disturbance though. There's a bit of conflict too over this change that is happening. Pfizer change, okay? There's a bit of conflict over this choice. You know, whether it's your, it's not your choice, obviously. This is the universe is in control here. So there's, there's a little bit of conflict. There is. There's conflict over this choice, over this change, in which you need to have strength to, you know, understand that there is a purpose. There's something better. There's something more. But you see there's, there's, there's some sort of little spat here with these cats. So there's some sort of little spat. There could be a spat that comes out of this. But whatever this spat is, it brings people together. Eight of Wands reverse. Some there's been a delay of some sort. Just like nobody's no longer. Somebody could be stopping communication. Communication could be cut. Judgment. Wonderful. Judgment. Judgment is truth. This is revelation and epiphany. It's time to go. Judgment is release. Absolution. Somebody is, is getting some sort of epiphany that it is time to go. Time to release. This is awakening. Somebody is get, getting some sort of an awakening, some sort of revelation, some sort of epiphany, which I'm not going to repeat myself, that it's time for a new life. It's time to deal with this pain. It's time to face this pain. Plain and simple. Oh, my God. I cannot believe. I cannot believe what we got going on here. It's a blessing in disguise. This is heaven sent. It's a miracle. And you may not think it's a miracle, but it is. This is a blessing in disguise, and that is absolutely 100% no joke. The universe is stepping in to bring you wish fulfillment. Somebody hasn't been following their dreams. They haven't been getting their wish fulfillment because they've been holding on to a false sense of security, and it's time for you to heal. It's time for you to find peace. It's time for you to be at peace. Somebody has been reluctant to transition. They have been reluctant to move on. But staying where they're at, there hasn't been any peace. There hasn't been any balance. Things have been upside down. 
Things have been crazy. They've been struggling to just stay afloat. And now it's time to follow their heart. Their heart. Okay? Somebody may be putting their, their sadness, their grieving right to a halt. It's like, you know what? It's for some of you. This is something coming to a halt, and it's right under this Five of Cups. Ma making some sort of, getting that epiphany that I have an opportunity for a new life here. For some of you, this could be some, this is, this is, this is Taurus and Libra. This is Scorpio. This is Aquarius. This is Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Scorpio. doesn't matter. We have everybody here, but I'm just telling you what I see. Somebody is breaking free. It, it, that's what the tower is doing. This this universal change, this disruption, this upheaval that is about to ensue is coming in to break you free from something that has kept you mentally stuck. It's been hurting you. Somebody's been holding on to it and the universe is saying, oh, no, 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 it's time. It's time for you to realize that you have a better opportunity. There's a reason for this. There's a purpose. I know you're comfortably stuck, but this isn't going to lead you to wish fulfillment. You're going to have to find your strength to let go because that's what this card means. You're going to have to find your strength <laughs> to get unstuck to stop limiting yourself to follow your heart so anyway I feel like we today we have a universe is stepping in to remove something that is a false sense of security that you've been holding on to whether they just remove it they give you this awareness with the they give you this awareness with the judgment card they give you this epiphany that you know this opportunity is beautiful this this is the goddess of love the empress she gives birth to a new life she nurtures everything she can grow anything she is a blessing she gives birth to a blessing and this is a blessing so I feel like there's going to be some upheaval that comes out of the day that brings you a blessing in disguise. It may be painful because the Empress, you know, to get that blessing, it, it ain't pretty. And it's scary to go through that pain. It is. And that's why you need strength to endure whatever this is. It's a painful release by the looks of things. It's a painful release. The universe is saying, you know what? It's time to move on. So that's what I have for the day. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one of my favorite cards, you know, out of my purple deck. And we have somebody here that is headed towards wish fulfillment after the universe steps in and pushes them over the edge. It gives them that nudge. Wakes them up. You know? Something's coming to a complete halt. That is no joke. Communication or something. Something is coming to a heart movement. You know? Something's coming to a complete halt. And I think that two people are coming together. If you look at this. Two people are coming together that are meant to be. That's what it looks like to me. A passion and pleasure. Savor your life.
Find joy in the moment, no matter what is occurring in your life. If you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Love often and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate and empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. When the traveler meets a band of gypsies, the traveler stops to dance in the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about the current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasure whenever you can. Allow your senses to be satiated or satiated or whatever you want to call it, fulfilled. Find and explore the beauty around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy wherever you can. Go after your happiness. Somebody has not. They've been limiting themselves, stuck on a situation that's a false sense of security. And the universe says, no, no. Find your strength to move on. We're going to help you. We're going to remove this obstacle from your life. So that you can get the blessings that you are meant to have. So I see a major disruption on the horizon. Don't be scared. You can you can handle it. Good luck.